Oh, peace and blessings, everybody. While I'm taking me a quick sit down about the sun for a second, man, I wanted to relate something real fast because I was having a conversation with a friend uh, the other day, and um, <laughs> man, you know, it's like I get caught always in these conversations that uh, are took it or interpreted like debates, right? But uh, I don't know. I guess for me. More than anything, man, I'm going to tell you, I've really, I've really, really grown to understand and comprehend, I mean, really, like, value that whole, I guess, aspect of comprehension, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I've said this before, but when I used to be, like, uh, in school, I swear I never understood what this whole comprehension part of the test was about. It's because it seems so elementary, it seems so basic, you know what I'm saying? And one thing I, I have learned about that is that, uh, you know, five people can read something, you know, a paragraph, and, and we see different things in that paragraph. You know, our perspective of it is different. Certain things stood out to us. Certain things didn't stand out to us in, the, in, that, in that paragraph. And it takes someone sometimes to point out, um, you know, other things that, other, that, that others may not have seen in the paragraph for them to realize, oh, okay, I, I ain't look at it like that. I didn't see it like that. You know, but it really, you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to take responsibility because, too, it, it takes it takes a certain kind of skill to uh, get a person to, I guess, open up to hear what you're about to say. It, it, it takes it take a, a certain kind of skill to do that. But it also takes a person to a, a certain kind of willingness to want to understand or see something else too. So, um, I mean, it goes both ways. It, 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 the, the communicating, the communicator as well as the one receiving the communication or the one who's receiving what's being said. I mean, or what's being taken in period was something that um, you read or looking at or whatever. Um, I mean, it takes an open mind, you know, all around the board. And so that's why I like to say, like, with my whole Light the Minds Enterprise thing, um, this, it, for me, man, and Light the Minds Enterprise is about just broadening perspective. That's it, man. I, I say all the times, man, when something don't seem right, feel right, or appear right, when something just has you, like, you tripping on the way you're looking at something. It, it, and, you know, a lot of us are so uh, defensive that a lot of times we see things from a negative first. You know, opposed to really trying to see the positive in what, what it is that's being presented. And so we're trying to see that when we have this thing to see the negative first, we become defensive a lot of times. When And then we, we just take off gun hole without really even investigating, you know, to make sure that we're looking at this from the way that we're supposed to be looking at it, you know. Um, but, I mean, it's just, man, that, I mean, I've really learned it a lot. And I'm telling you, whenever I, when I talk to people, I know I don't think on a typical level, you know. And a lot of people say, man, you're thinking too much. You're looking too far into it. But, I mean, naturally, man, that's how I think. That's how I look at stuff. I don't look at things really one-dimensional. I don't look at it just from a deep perspective or from a surface-level perspective. I kind of take it all in, man. And I can see it from different angles a lot of times. And uh, when one is communicating with you, trying to get you to understand something, uh, you have to definitely be willing to understand, but also the person that is trying to get you to stand some, understand some also still has to remain open to have their perspective broadened. And that's what I found myself dealing with a lot of times when a person can might accuse me of being, let's say, one-sided or narrow-minded or uh, I don't think I've been, ever been called dogmatic, but, you know, just something maybe on, along those lines. When, when If you flip it and look at it, the person only saying that because I want to abandon my perspective to totally embrace their perspective. Even though I may say a number of times, I understand what you're saying. I just disagree. I disagree with whatever, you know, and sometimes that'd be the case. I may, I may definitely, I mean, cause I'm a strive to understand. Otherwise the disagreement would be like illogical. If you disagree with something that you don't, you have a proper understanding of. So my thing is missing, definitely making sure I totally understand something in a way that one means it first. But, I mean, it, it's most, I'm telling you, man, it, most people may think they do that, but most people don't do that. Most people do not really try to make sure they understand what you're saying correctly. And, again, even with that, sometimes, man, it's just the, the, the bottom line is people hear what they want to hear. And so they only grab certain pieces of what you say 
And that's the bulk of what everything you say. That's the bulk of your statement. That's the bulk of your message. You know what I'm saying? And some people just have certain hangups about certain ideas and and statements or questions or terminologies or whatever that they can't get past. And so once you introduce any one of those things into a conversation or a statement or whatever, then the rest of what you said or done don't even really mean that because of that little piece in it that that person is so biased about. But um, I'm going to tell you, you know, uh, I've been accused of being, oh, you love the debate. I do, man. I really do love the debate. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to first claim that. But let me tell you, I love the debate when it's a healthy fun type of debate you know because i mean i don't know why debating has been given a negative stigma but debate debating is healthy it makes you learn more you become more knowledgeable you become more intelligent you begin to actually have the way you look at things a little bit broad in that way i mean that's how iron sharp as iron so for individuals who say you know they want a man or they want a woman to help them grow to stimulate their mind how can you be stimulated how can you grow if all a person is if really what you mean is you want a person to agree with you you know or or, or, or how can you grow if every time a person uh, disagree with you you look at it like it's a negative you know you should want to understand why the person disagree and y'all have a, a logical discussion about it that's how iron shop is iron that's how people say I want to grow and be better you know what I'm saying I mean, but I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm telling you from my experience that is definitely um, a loose statement. It's not something that people really, 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 truly mean, you know. Um, but yeah, I love the debate as long as it's healthy. But I, I'm telling you, I am not going to argue with you, you know. And when and I'm gonna tell you, when I'm talking about, I, I, I'm saying I love, I, I'm passionate about perspective. I'm passionate about talking about things that stimulate my mind, passionate about this. So sometimes in the discussions, yeah, I may, my, my, my volume level may rise up. You know what I'm saying? I may, because I'm passionate about it. I'm emphasizing certain points. But it don't mean I'm upset. I, I've been called, oh, you upset, you mad, you angry. No, you, why are you being so judgmental? Why are you being so, uh, uh, um, I don't know. Y'all help me with a word. But the thing is like, why would you just take, just because I say something a certain way, that's what I am. I mean, ask me, are you upset? Ask me, or why are you feeling? Ask me, you know, so you can get a proper understanding of me, you know, because that's not me. I, I don't, I don't get upset easy. I'm tell you, I hate lies though. Lies are probably get me out of character, you know, because I say lies waste time, man. Lies waste time and resources. And my things like I value my resources. I value my time. If I give any one of them to you, best believe it's for um, uh, it's not no surface of superficial reason. So uh, if if I done it under the guise of a lie. Man, yeah, you going you might pull out the shooter side of me. You might pull out that old street dude side of me. You may, you know what I'm saying? You gonna get some. You might get some, 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 some hypocrisy coming out of me. This is gonna sound like hypocrisy because I'm against certain things, like you know, uh, using certain terminologies and words like niggas and calling women bitches and hoes. I'm, yeah, I'm against that. But I'm gonna tell you, if 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 you get on that side of me, then you might pull out that side of me because at that point in time, I've lost all respect for you. You know, lies that make me lose total respect for you. And so at that point in time, it's like, yeah, well, all that apply to you now. You know what I'm saying? It don't apply to people I respect, but it would apply to you. And that doesn't justify it. I'm not saying that any of that justifies any type of behavior. I'm just saying that I know that's how I am. And I never try to come off like I'm perfect. I never try to come off like there's no ills or wrongs on my end. I never try to come off like I'm textbook. That's why I tell you. I'm an, I'm an average everyday dude. You know what I'm saying? But I do, I do, I don't think I know everything. I don't think I know, um, all, I have all the answers, but I know something, man. And I know what I know. And that's what a brother told me one time. Bro, you know what you know, and that's just it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I, I embrace that. I do know what I know. I know I'm far from stupid. I'm far from dumb. I'm far, I'm far from being ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, I love understanding, man. I don't even care if a person agree with me or not. You can disagree with me all you want to. That don't mean nothing to me. I'm saying, I'm saying like nothing as in like I'm gonna feel some kind of way about it. But my thing is that is that a person has the proper understanding. If we end up in a debate or a discussion, it's because I want to make sure you have the proper understanding of what I'm saying. Whenever you say something or you respond to what I just said, and I see that it's your response is based on the misunderstanding of what I said, I feel obligated to 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 clarify myself. You know what I'm saying? That way you won't go further on in life with a misunderstanding of this discussion me and you had or something I said or whatever. You know, I want to make sure that you leave me, my presence, you know, with a proper understanding about something uh, that, that has anything to do with me. 
So anyway, man, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, you know, man, I, I, I just that was on my mind about this whole comprehension thing, man. You cannot underestimate it. You cannot underestimate the whole uh, power of perception, man. It's very, it's very profound. It has everything to do with why we do what we do, why we don't do what we do, choices we make, goals we set. Um, I mean, so on, you know, clothes we wear, where we choose to live, all that, you know what I'm saying? And I believe it's my purpose in life is to, to try to help the world broaden its perspective and and just be more tied uh, <laughs> perspective or something, you know, be a little bit more um, versatile. But, you know, hey, I, I, it's, it is what it is and who's going to get it? Like, you know, uh, a great teacher said that if it's time for you to receive something, you're going to receive it. And until then, you won't receive it. So peace and blessings, everybody. Jerry Hassan, the children from Lightning Minds in a Pride Wolfpack family representative. Iron Trapper, Street Guard. What's good, everybody? Peace.